Hello everyone and welcome back to Boulder Cove. This is episode 24 and today we're gonna do two things. We're gonna work on Glen Falls, which is a fine nice little village here right next to a nice waterfall and then we're gonna work on the aviation club and the surrounding farms around the village that I just mentioned. Now if you end up enjoying the video then please uh, click like on this video and if you want to see more then do consider subscribing. Uh, this series isn't going anywhere, this will be going on for as long as it allows it to go almost. It hasn't had any issues yet and that's really no surprise I don't really have that many mods uh, or assets so it shouldn't be, it's not too much of an issue. But to jump into the time lapse here, we are, as I just said, building uh, Glen Falls, which is um, the name of both the waterfall and the nearby little village here. Uh, it's a very small village, so it's um, it's almost too small to be called a village, but probably this entire area would be called Glen Falls, with farms included. But you know, this would be sort of like the central Glen Falls, downtown Glen Falls. Now I started by doing a little bit extra on the river here. I wanted to make it look a little bit unique, um, make it look, like, make, it, make it stand out a little bit more because previously it was just a plain river. So I wanted to sort of copy the river on the other side, which also is a waterfall, although a lot larger one. I wanted to have another one a little bit further upstream and you know overlooking this little area and building a waterfall is actually a lot harder than it seems because water physics in this game is a little bit tricky uh, so I, I I don't know if I'll spot it in the um, in the cinematics after this but sometimes water just stops running uh, down this river or it doesn't com doesn't stop completely but every now and then uh, there's no water going down the waterfall which is uh, a little bit shame but eventually it comes back it doesn't really take that many seconds for it to come back but uh, that's just how I guess water physics in this game works and it's it's quite tricky to you know create a nice looking waterfall like this on the workshop you can actually download buildings or props or some, something like that that acts as a waterfall um, which is even, which is there on the workshop because it is actually so tricky to make a realistic looking waterfall with the base mechanics. But I used a technique by placing down some rocks, uh, vanilla rocks, um, on both sides at the uh, waterfall to sort of push the water into the middle to you know almost build up the water so we got more water flowing down the waterfall at the same time because when just the bare minimum water runs over it actually sort of disappears because it's so it's so little water that it almost isn't visible but um, but placing down these rocks that for some reason don't interact with the water it sort of pushes it up and then creates a, a lot nicer looking waterfall in my opinion so it's one way of using these rocks against this purpose I would actually rather have the rocks work uh, like with the water so that like water wouldn't completely just stop when it hits the rocks um, because these rocks has a sort of a funky hitbox it doesn't completely completely work but uh, for now I'm happy that it doesn't quite work because it made my job a lot easier creating a nice waterfall. Now Glen Falls like the central downtown Glen Falls uh, is quite small um, and I wanted to have sort of like a, a nice um, rather short like shopping street with a few shops and I also ended up placing down a high school secondary school and I also placed down a primary school or elementary school 
a little bit further down the road so like its own building um, not completely it's still very close but not on the same exact shopping street and I also created a, like a small uh, shopping mall on the side of the shopping street uh, by just placing down the same vanilla buildings together uh, these are I think they're like one, one story uh, low commercial building <laughs> whatever it's called I'll place them together uh, using move it and then I used a uh, ploppable pavement I think to place on top of the roof uh, so it doesn't quite look as weird as it did prior to that because um, it's sort of uh, the, the roof went a little bit crazy and it was very visible but this was in fact several smaller buildings clipped together but by using palpable payment uh, it sort of looks like this is actually just one building uh, shaped like a, almost like a horseshoe uh, which was what I was looking for and it's, um, it's quite popular with the locals I really like how it turned out and I also placed down a lot of different kinds of paths going around um, connecting different parts of you know this area uh, I have some paths going up uh, on the both rivers and also one path going down towards the um, towards the harbor down here which we worked on many episodes ago can't quite remember but um, there's also a train station down there which actually now is functional. Uh, I have placed down a train line that goes from Norton that we built in episode two, I think, and actually goes all the way around the cove down to the airport. So it's quite nice to actually have a little bit of movement in the city now. And there definitely is a lot of movement on these paths now because people tend to walk from Glen Falls down to the uh, train station to catch a train, whether that be to, you know, Boulder City, or whether that be to Bournsworth and Buxo or Norton, who knows? But um, it's nice to have a little bit of movement, and it's nice to get people walking instead of taking uh, taking cars. When I was finished working on Glen Falls, I started working on the farms around the village, and also on the aviation club building. Uh, this building is from the Sunset Harbor DLC and it's actually been in this spot for a really long time. I just placed it down just to sort of remind myself that I want this building to be placed down here. Um, I had originally thought somewhere else but um, I ended up placing down the international airport in such a way that it wouldn't really be... Um, wouldn't be really, really be realistic to place down the aviation club nearby because sort of like it um, you wouldn't fly a small plane right next to these big jumbo jets so it's uh, it didn't quite make sense so I placed it out uh, far away from the airport in this nice little area um, there's a lot of mountains around this place on both sides but um, I, I checked it out and the planes they fly safely they uh, they find their way uh, so they don't crash into the mountains or anything or drive right through them uh, it works completely fine and since there are mountains on both sides there are actually three mountains around this area i would imagine that this would be a fantastic spot for agriculture uh, since it would probably be quite warm uh, you know the um, the sun would warm up this little valley you also got not just one river, you got two rivers running through it, uh, bringing in a lot of different kinds of dirt with it, really. So it, it would really be quite a nice area for agriculture. Uh, so that would be another place I can place down a lot of farms. I didn't place down too many farm, farms, <laughs> you know, farms from the industry DLC. And the main reason why because I didn't want 68,000 million uh, trucks and tractors running around here every single minute. Um, it is one of the most annoying things in this game is how much traffic is uh, caused by the farms. It's absolutely insane. Um, I do actually have farms further down near the harbor that I mentioned a few minutes ago. Um, but I do actually have some farms turned off 
because it just generated a lot more traffic. Uh, so that might be a thing you want to do if you want to create sort of a realistic city using as few custom assets as possible. Just place down farm buildings like these fields and these pastures and just turning them off so that there wouldn't be any trucks going there. But then again that sort of is why would you have a building then? You know, so it doesn't quite make sense. So that's why I use this technique instead, just placing down these um, ore and oil uh, mineral textures thing. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it, but uh, it gives the ground a different kind of texture. And it, when you zoom out, it sort of looks like there are different kinds of you know crops being grown in this area. And um, it's quite easy actually to make a very new and nice looking area using this technique and it's really quick it's really quick it doesn't take that long it would take a lot longer if i were to use these actual farms to create these actual proper working pastures or fields or whatever um, because they're so small again so it wouldn't really make sense but uh, yeah this technique is definitely one i'll have been using for a long time as well and will continue using I also placed down a sort of like another village center up here um, just with a few shops and a church and also a American football field. Um, I want to have a lot of these kinds of fields around um, whether that be American football or European football or just any kind of sports really because that's quite realistic you know every little or almost every um, high school or elementary school or whatever they do have these fields around because um, quite often there is a, like a sports club associated with the field or associated with the school so this field will probably be uh, associated with the schools in Glen Falls um, it is located quite a distance away from it but um, it does make sense because the two others you know like the two schools are very much in a more urban area it's not quite urban but uh, there's not a, it wasn't just any room for the field so that's why I placed it up here plenty of rooms you just you just farms anyways around this area so so it fit perfectly uh, the field is a prop if I'm not mistaken from the workshop and I also placed down some prop cars uh, around the field to sort of make it look like it's actually being visited um, because it's just a prop no one would like to visit this so that's why we gotta have fake cars nearby so it looks like it's actually being used now I am almost finished up with this entire area and it was really good to come back to working on something else than the uh, than Boulder City that I've been working on for a while now I'm really happy how this turned out um, this was always what I wanted I wanted a lot of farms in this area and it's really nice because it's very close to um, Boulder City, the capital of Boulder Cove. So you don't really have to drive too far away to really get that rural feel, which I really like. Now this series is as much as your series as it is mine, meaning that what you want to see, probably I want to see as well. <laughs> um, so if you've got any suggestions on what we want to see next, uh, then please let me know. Uh, also, if you got any suggestions or you want to write a story, for example, story about Glen Falls, like what's the history behind this place, who lives here, um, then of course do so in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter or Discord. Um, I do want to get more stories involved again. I um, I do actually have a wiki page for this area or this entire series, uh, which has been a little bit quiet. Uh, but I do want to sort of come back to that. Um, there, are, there is already, I think, three, three pages up there about three different kinds, uh, three different villages, or towns. Really, it's quite interesting. If you want to take a read, um, the link is of course in the description. And most of this stuff is uh, written by other people than me. Uh, people just uh, you know want to get involved and I and I am forever grateful uh, that uh, you know people have taken time to you know sort of 
get involved in this series and it, yeah it it warms my heart you know <laughs> but that is it for now we got some before and after shots of both Glen Falls and the farms around Glen Falls and then we're gonna have some nice cinematics I thoroughly hope you enjoyed and if you did then please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more stuff like this and that's it for now I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Don't want to be in love if it's not with you. Don't want to cry that extra tear. Don't want to make mountains move. Let summer go. Tell my skin to Still for a while